India's PSLV launcher conducted its third launch this year. It delivered a total of nine satellites from India, Switzerland and Bhutan into orbit. The launch site was the Satish Dhawan Space Center, formerly known as Sri Harikota. The ignition of the PSLV XL launcher engines occurred on November 26 at 6.26 UTC. Zero. There's the textbook liftoff of PSL C-54-06 mission. The launcher worked flawlessly, so the satellites were released in planned orbit. The main payload was the EOS-06 satellite, also known as OceanSat-3. As the name suggests, this 1.2-ton satellite is supposed to study the oceans. Specifically, it will monitor the color of the oceans, but it will also measure wind directions and speed over continents. Scientists will use the data for various researches. They will be able to monitor the distribution of chlorophyll in the oceans, or the expansion and evolution of phytoplankton, for example. The measurements will also reveal the presence of chemicals and minerals in the oceans. In addition to the scientific research, there is also more pragmatic usage. Collected data will help with finding the most suitable places for fishing. OceanSat-3 is supposed to replace the OceanSat-2 satellite, which was launched in 2009. The tasks of both satellites are the same. The only difference are the more accurate measurements of the newer one. There were also deployed another eight small satellites alongside with the EOS-06. Among them there were for example four Swiss Astrocast satellites, which are devoted to testing systems for future communication networks. Another two satellites worth mentioning are two Thibault CubeSats for receiving messages from radio amateurs. Next satellite deployed during this mission was Bhutansat with its hyperspectral sensor, a joint work of engineers from India and Bhutan. If you want to help to get Spaceflight News more viewers, your likes comments and subscriptions will help us significantly. We are slowly approaching the milestone of 400 subscribers. Thank you.